Good morning. I couldn't find a good how-to on this online, so I just wanted to make one of my own. This is a how-to on how to install the Nate's rock sliders. I'm doing it on MJ. I'm pretty sure the Cherokee is the same. Here's what you're going to need. And also, this is how I'm doing it. It might not be perfectly the way it's supposed to be with the bolt directions, but I think this is going to work out perfectly. We'll see how it works out. Okay, first thing you need is obviously the slider. The short end is going to go towards the back of the vehicle. The longer end is going to go towards the front. You're also going to need something to mark the holes that need to be drilled because these holes need to be drilled out. You can use a quarter inch drill bit to drill those holes out once you have the mark. Here's the hardware. You have one of these little guys, one of these little guys, and one of those little guys. The tools I got out for it is a 10 millimeter to be able to turn this box in, a 3 16 Allen to turn this little guy, a 14 millimeter for this bolt in here, like so, and then a 13 millimeter to put on these self threading. So this is for how I've determined where these bolts are gonna go. So this one's obviously gonna go through here and bolt into the side of your rail, right there after you mark the holes. This little guy right here, and this is where I'm, I'm guessing a little bit here, is gonna go right in here. I'm just gonna screw these in. These are th pre-threaded, all right? What this is gonna do is gonna pinch the pinch seam right here underneath the vehicle this right here it's gonna pinch onto that so this little guy and this is where I'm guessing I'm gonna put him from the inside okay yep so I did that so I took this one back out so basically you put this in from this side you screw you tighten it in using your allen key or whatever you have and then basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna pinch itself here so when this new one goes in it's gonna pinch it depending on how far out this actually sticks, like if you have frame reinforcements, this is gonna be further this way, if that makes sense. So this is gonna be inset a little bit more to help offset it pushing out this way. So these should all be about the same distance out. There should be three of them. And so that way, when you have your pinch team in here, if it's gonna pinch it on this side, or if it's gonna be more over here, you have adjustment. So you're gonna to wanna to eyeball this, put it up there first, figure out where your pinch team is gonna land, and then adjust this basically to rest just on it and then this one afterwards will come in from this side and pinch it in there completely on the, the pinch seam. Hope that makes sense, I'll show you in a second. All right, if you don't have a buddy, it helps to have a jack, kind of line it up and put it exactly where you feel like it'd be sit fit. You're gonna have to move it forward or backwards depending on what you like. Obviously the back side's a little bit high right now, so I gotta fix that. Also, it accentuates this nice little dent that I have there but it'll do its job in there you can see where the pinch seam is actually going to pinch it at um, I'll have to adjust those like I mentioned just a little bit the front one needs to come out a bit and then underneath here's what we're looking at so obviously this needs to come down a little bit and in that one needs to go in a little bit and then we'll be able to mark these holes where they're going to be drilled. From there you're going to basically drill these out, set these bolts in, let it dangle a little bit and then adjust your pinch seam bolts. There's a view from the front. So it also needs to come in a little bit. That's how it should line up. Like I said, my front end's all banged up so ignore that but pretty straight from front to back and then on the side pretty even gap you just have to decide like I mentioned where you want it to actually begin and end that'll fluctuate just slightly depending on what you want all right once you got everything drilled out you can self tap the screws in I found it easier to self tap them in with the rail removed after I've already marked the holes so I have this all set up I'm gonna put it loosely on and then tighten up the pinch team and uh, hopefully everything lines up still and we got it to work. Once I have this lined up and I have an idea of where that pinch seam is supposed to be, I'm adjusting those little screws in there so that they line up perfectly with this up here so that when I bolt in from the backside it pinches it correctly. 
So I know that's a little bit hard to see, but you can see my Allen wrench key adjusting this little nut that I put on the inside earlier, and that way it exposes how much I bolt I need to lean right up against this. All right, you can see a lot better from this angle. So see, I need to back this out just a little bit so it butts up against this. And then what I'm gonna do is get this other bolt that they supply screwed in from here until it reaches in and hits this and then I'm gonna use this locking nut to lock it on here. And that's not gonna be how you finish up against your pin seam. So there you go, just button all these down and then. I highly recommend, again, drill the holes out, self-tap these, and then put them in through the bracket. That'll work a lot better than trying to self-tap them with the bracket on, that, that's a pain in the ass. So there you go, I'll show you how this is mounted up in a second. And there you go, that's what it looks like. So basically, as I mentioned, this one sandwiches to this side, this one comes in sandwiches here, and then you tighten down this. So you actually can't get it, well you might be able to get a socket in there, but I use a 14 millimeter wrench and uh, lock this lock nut down afterwards after I got all these on and got the sandwich in. So everything's good now. This thing is sturdy. See what it looks like. So there you go. That's it mounted. I like how it sticks out too. It's green, I need to paint it black. But that's how it looks from the back too. And then, just kind of how I leveled it up, right there. So overall, pretty level. I'm really happy with actually how level that came out. I really didn't know how it was gonna be. And I ended mine right where the fender line is, just because I wanted a clean look there. And that just kind of worked out for me. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. You can, you can, you can pretty much step on those, stand on those, hopefully beat them to hell, and uh, bless you for as long as you need. Hope that helped out. I know that wasn't beautifully perfect, but I hope that helps out to anyone else who wants to put these on. Uh, basically after that, just rinse and repeat. If you got any questions, just hit me up in the comments below, and I'll help out as much as possible. Uh, there you go, I like doing these how-tos, especially when there isn't a good one around. Sorry about this, a little bit of shaky. I need to eat some breakfast, man. Got some wheels mounted. Moment of truth, I didn't realize it had two inch spacers on there, so it kind of has a nice little wide stance. So much better in my opinion.